It used to be that you could wait until you were ready to claim your benefits before you had to deal with the Social Security Administration. But today, it's prudent to set up your own Social Security account online, even if you're years away from retirement. And thanks to the internet, you can do the whole thing easily at home in your underwear. Well, unless you're making a video about it. Hi, I'm Jeff Hoyt, Editor-in-Chief of SeniorLiving.org. We often review products that help seniors age with ease, but setting up a My Social Security account is something all adults should do, even if they're decades from claiming their benefits. Now, for those seniors already receiving benefits, setting up your online account will allow you to change your address, set up or change your direct deposit details so your checks go to the bank account you want, get forms like a tax form for the IRS that shows how much earnings you received. View your benefit payment schedule so you can plan ahead, and a whole lot more. Now, if you're not receiving benefits, setting up your online account will allow you to get a benefits estimate to see how much you'd get if you applied at different ages. You can check your earnings record to make sure they got all your earnings through the years correctly so you'll get every Social Security dollar that you deserve. And if you do find a mistake, well, will have plenty of time to fix it. You can also check your eligibility for benefits and actually apply for benefits when the time is right for you. Setting up your account even allows you to apply for Medicare when you approach 65, plus a whole lot more. Now, even if you don't think you need to get a My Social Security account now, yeah, that's what they call it, My Social Security account, even though it's yours. But even if you don't think you need one, there's one super important reason you should get one. Since only one account can be registered per Social Security number, securing yours prevents crooks from claiming it and interfering with your benefits down the road. So set up an account and regularly review your account statements to spot any discrepancies. You know, it's easy to prevent scammers from grabbing your account and then getting rid of them once they've sunk their teeth into it. Setting up your My Social Security account should take you just 10, 15 minutes. You just need to convince the government that you're you. Start at the main Social Security Administration page, ssa.gov, and then click Learn About Your Account. Then click the Create an Account button. Next, you have to choose whether to verify your identity with login.gov or ID.me. Since I already had an ID.me account, I took that route. You'll be warned that you're leaving the government site, but don't be scared, you're in good hands. You see that social security logo next to the ID.me logo at the top? So I entered my email address and password. You can click on Create an ID.me account if you don't have one, and you'll be asked to enter your email, create a password, accept their terms. Now to confirm my identity, first I had to enter a code that they sent to my phone. And then I was asked to upload my ID or join a video call to show I am who I said I am. Well, since I saved my videos for you guys, I decided to upload the information and I gave permission to do so. Since I have a smartphone, I use that to verify my identity, but you can still do it without a cell phone or even a US phone number. Using the link sent to my phone, I uploaded pictures of the front and back of my driver's license, as well as a selfie. After the website compared my selfie with my ID picture, I entered my social security number, confirmed the info, and allowed them to use it. And because I used both long and short versions of my first name, they wanted me to confirm which was my legal name. That's right, you can call me Jeffrey. Then they asked if they could share this info with the Social Security Administration, which of course I allowed. And after agreeing to their terms of service, Voila, I had my own My Social Security account where I could see that I qualified for benefits and how much I would receive at different dates of claiming benefits. Now, if you go through login.gov instead of ID.me, uh, the process is similar. Now, the only downside to creating a My Social Security account is that you'll no longer receive paper statements in the mail. Instead, you'll get an email reminding you to review your statement by logging into your online account. So by setting up your account, you're saving taxpayers dollars too because they don't have to mail all that paper stuff to you. For more information on claiming and maximizing your social security benefits, visit seniorliving.org, where you can also find and compare housing options for seniors, including in-home care, assisted living, nursing homes, and everything in between. And please, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks.